friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited recording of a routine phaco surgery after applying 5% povidone iodine over the ocular surface the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with bss or ringel acted now this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at around 11:30 o'clock the anterior chamber is filled up with viscoelastic substance this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose which is widely used in india bangladesh nepal and many other countries now capsulorexis is being done with the help of ivtra forceps i learned this technique from dr neto rosatelli of brazil this is a nice way of doing capsulorexis with utrata forceps we don't have to use a cystitome to make a flap of the anterior capsule except in some cases like weak genual and hypermature morganian cataracts hydrodissection is done and the nucleus is rotated and now visco is again used to fill up the anterior chamber and then the phaco needle goes in in this case the machine being used is faros from otley switzerland the phaco needle goes in with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed the nucleus is rotated nicely and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped this is the first chop and now the air bubble is removed the nucleus is rotated held at another place and this is second chop and this is the this is another chop on the other hemineucleus so we have got some free nuclear fragments ultrasonic energy being used in this case is 70% fluoride is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury the free nuclear fragments are easily picked up emulsified and removed this is the other hemineucleus this stumbled this piece is subdivided into smaller pieces now for the last piece we can reduce the parameters vacuum and flow rate may be reduced for safe emulsification of the last nuclear fragment and now this is the epineucleus it is removed and now we come out uh, now is the time to remove the cortex some visco is used to maintain the antechamber for some time and then the simco cannula 23 gauze simco cannula is used to remove the cortex we have only one side port and we cannot use bimanual irrigation aspiration however we can use coaxial ia and now we go through the side port and remove the subincisional cortex done and now now is the time to implant an intraocular lens i'm going to use a b cartridge so i need to enlarge the main wound a bit before that this is hydro polish polishing of the posterior capsule with just the irrigation the irrigation is directed towards the posterior capsule and the irrigating cannula is swept from one side to the other side and uh, now this is a hydrophilic single piece monofocal intraocular lens which has gone into the capsular bag this is the irrigating cannula is being used to remove all the visco that was there in the lumen of the cartridge b 
beta-oxymoxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, the BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium. All the visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out at this time. The lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag. The antechamber is nicely formed. And then the integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.